Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. In today's video update here, we're going to go over quant. Quant right now is trading at $111.41. 24-hour volume, we're down 45%. In market cap, we're up 3.44%. So heading over to the chart here, I'm going to cover our week, daily, and one hour. So starting off here on the week, you guys, it does look very promising for quant as the RSI itself from last week, initiating a buying opportunity. And as price is coming up, we are going to be hitting this this area as resistance of $134.05 and 50 cents. We can see a few candlesticks here from February 14th, February 28th, and then just recently here on August 8th has hit a dead resistance line at this level. What's really nice to see here on a weekly time frame as well is that we are currently in a primary trend of a bullish trend for quad as we are bouncing really nicely and holding support on our 20 moving average line. As we can see the price itself is escalating, we are seeing the volume capture as well as volume is increasingly week after week. As we see the MACD indicator is getting lighter in the color, the trend itself for this bull trend may soon be over and show us some weakness. However, the RSI here is only at 54% and is not considered as overbought until we reach over to the 80% itself. And the last peak here that we saw was considered to be overbought was at 81%. So that does give us a few hints that quant is going to come up and hopefully retrace closer to 78%, which is at least a $126. So long the MACD indicator still shows in the green and possibly an expansion of our MACD line and our signal line itself. So heading over to our daily chart here, I've got a few points of interest along with our volume profile that measures dollar amounts in the point of volume. And if we take a look, you guys, we can see these gorgeous green candles here, which is really nice. However, we are going to experience some pullbacks because we are considered to be overbought here and at an area of resistance. So if we take a look at the RSI at 82%, it already gives us the hint that we are overbought and be careful for retracement levels for today day. Not only that, we can see again a few areas of resistance line where the price is essentially maxed out so far for today. We can see as high as $113.60 of these peaks here as the price or the RSI was approaching over the 80%. So it is going to repeat itself and we do have areas of high interest where the price may lead to. Again, with the volume profile, we can see this note here that's sticking out here at $104 just below our area of con um, convergence of 50% and 38% of our chart. So if we are going to come back down, we're hoping again to hold the part of interest at this dollar amount. Already on the left-hand side, we can see on August 22nd and August 23rd, we held on support as the RSI initiated that we were considered to be overbought here. So again, in daily strides, we may hold ourselves at $104.53. If not, depending on how strong the current is, we may drop and retest our 20 MA, which is this orange line here, as the volume itself is peaking up, it's not um, being supported by the volume. We can see these volume nodes at the very bottom is decreasing in volume. And essentially, we want increase of volume as price is going to ultimately break an area of resistance. Now, heading over to our hourly chart here, you guys, again, more refined in our candlesticks. We can be able to see um, the candlesticks as we are approaching, again, the area of resistance at $112.21. We can see this candlestick here, essentially a shooting star candlestick with the wick at the top. That's twice the size of the body, which does show some weakness. Now, what we're anticipating that's going to happen with our RSI, because we are above the 80%, it already triggered a sell opportunity here as we saw the two lines cross over. Now, essentially, if these two lines cross over and turn for the upside, then we are going to retest our area of resistance at $112.21. For a fallback, because we are considerably overbought, as we can see, we are retracing or touching the top of the bullet Japan here. Price again is going to come back down and either retest this area of resistance turned into support by this um, one hour node here at $108.51 or it could possibly bounce down here in between 23% and 38% um, near the 20 moving average here. As we can see with our volume indicator, it doesn't really show us 
a whole lot of point of interest except for this chunk here that's found around the 38% of our fib. So be prepared for that pullback, you guys. We are going to be seeing it. It's just so long um, to see our RSI initiate that sell signal here as we see the MACD indicator growing in these um, green bars itself. So that's my video here for Quant. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.